A question that I get quite frequently is, what is the best way to collect information and data for a business impact assessment? Now, there are three ways that I use quite commonly. There's the face-to-face -face technique, so one-on-ones with all of the participants in the business continuity management process. There's the workshop approach, gatherings of people to talk about business continuity requirements. And then there's the questionnaire, the remote approach, where you send out a questionnaire and wait for the answers to come back and the data to appear. Now, face-to-face -face is one that I would always recommend, but that, of course, depends on your time frames, your resource availability, and, of course, the availability of the people in your organisation. Face-to-face gives you um, an interactive environment where you can discuss business continuity, you can talk about requirements and criticality, etc., with the individuals, and the data quality is very high first time round. From a workshop approach, it's time efficient because it allows a large group of people to talk about business continuity management in a limited time. It's relatively interactive, but you risk the danger, of course, that one or two people may dominate that workshop, so you may get a skew of the information that you receive. But essentially you get consensus data, which at the end of the workshop is usually agreed upon by all the participants. The one I don't like to use is the remote approach, where you perhaps send out a questionnaire saying, please fill in this business impact assessment and tell me your requirements and send me the information back. It's very deadline driven and you know that people are very busy and they will probably wait till the last minute to fill out your questionnaire. It's also limited in its interactivity, so you may find that you have to go back and talk to those people anyway to understand the data that's delivered. And of course that data may be very variable um, in, its, in the results depending on the time people have taken to fill out the questionnaire.